Hey, Shalom. <clears throat> I want to give all glory and praise and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I double honor to the apostles, Elders Great Millstone. I peace and much love. Honors and blessed salutations to the elect of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which holds a kind of complete integrity. All right, this is Yaakov Wall, and uh, I want to go into a topic real quick, man. Uh, basically, the whole mess that Esau has made throughout the earth, you know, going from the actual blood that he spilled to, uh, you know, the doctrines, philosophies that he's created to uh, poison the minds of the people, mainly, you know, aimed at Jake, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and uh, basically was just having a thought about, like, uh, this way of life, you know, the paradigm is going to shift to where we're not going to be living like this anymore. You know, something I was thinking about, man, like, something I've noticed for a long time is this kingdom looks dirty. The earth looks dirty. Everything that Esau built, I'm talking about actual like buildings, warehouses and all that. Did I work in the warehouse industry? You know, uh, factories and all that. But, uh, you know, when you look at it, it uh, a lot of the machinery that Esau works on, man, he'll keep and he'll, 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 uh, work that machine to death basically you know as long as you know to where it don't work and he'll he'll run it out man to the last boat and nut you know till it can't work no more until then he'll keep upgrading it or not upgrading but putting in new parts even though you have shitload of old parts it'll break down but man he would rather use that piece than spend another you know couple of grand or shit a hundred grand I mean I get it that's money, but it, it gives this old look, this tarnished and old look uh, to his enterprise. And so, you know, uh, over here, you know, right now I'm working on the Cranberry Marsh and uh, it just, uh, the machines that they use, not the, not the actual machines they use for the cranberries, but the machineries they use to harvest old as hell, man. You know, it looks like Mater from Cars, man. <laughs> and uh, it just, you know, it's a lot good. Let me get that out. But um, yeah, man, it just it looks dirty, broken down, run down. And that's the type of man that Esau has been. You know, something I, I looked at yesterday or last night. I sent it, I think, last night to the brother's chat. And uh, it was a comment made by Napoleon Bonaparte. And he had said that, um, how did it go? If you have an army of a hundred lions, but the leader is a dog, then those lions are gonna die like a dog. But if you have a hundred dogs and their leader is a lion, they're all gonna fight like lions and die like a lion, you know? Or I think it was just, they're gonna fight like a lion. You know, uh, you look at Esau from the aspect of Esau, and his whole, everything he's done is just messy. There's a scripture in Sirach where it talks about a man that doeth evil to himself. It basically dries, his, dries up his own soul. Because no matter what he does, all that wickedness that he creates, in the end, it's just going to cause him to be, uh, you know, killed or destroyed. And Esau, everything that he's done, whether it's been a deceptive type of good, you know, I'm speaking like ulterior motives. It doesn't matter what he do, does anymore because he's racked up too much debt with his wickedness. You know, something I spoke about last week when I was out there with the bros. Uh, the amount of wickedness that Esau has amounted to is uh, is too much now. Reparations, retribution, all that, you know, giving, giving money riches, jewels, that, that can't cover his bloody rap sheet now. He's amounted too much blood. Alright? You know, what started out as a few murders became, you know, uh, a whole planet full of, of, of genocide. Alright? And I was talking to a Jake about this the other day, or yesterday, man, and, uh, Basically, you know, I made the comment, um, what, what nation on the planet 
outside of the so-called white man has ever spilt as much blood as a white man has. And I and I asked the Jake, I was telling him like, give me one other nation. I was like, yeah, you got wars and you have wars between the you know the Philistines, the, the Elamites, the uh, uh, shit, the Japanese, the Moabites, the, the, the Ammonites. You know all these other nations that were, that the Lord created, right? But they've never been as bloody as the so-called white man. You had wars. Wars are going to happen. All right. But Esau promoted and you know used war as a method to get what he has today. All right, rather than, you know, exchanging, bartering and all that, Esau has done everything through blood, violence. That's why it said uh, in uh, Revelations, the 18th chapter, that Esau is going to go down in the manner in which it said that thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. It said that the angel took up a great millstone. That great millstone is talking about the thermonuclear missiles. See, Esau started off killing and he tried to hide it. You know, when the Lord asked Cain, uh, where is thy brother Abel? And, you know, Esau tried to lie and hide. Am I my brother's keeper? Like, basically, he was trying to play ignorant. Like, I don't know. Like, is it my job to know where he's at? But the Lord already knew. And that's the thing, when, and that's the thing that Esau fails to understand is that the Lord was there from the beginning. Scriptures talk about him being able to see all things, man. He, he can see everywhere. Uh, what's the what's the word? I think it's omnipresent. And then you got the uh, ubiquitous uh, ability. The Lord sees everything, man. And, and uh, <laughs> as silly as it's gonna sound, but man, he sees you in the bathroom. He sees what you're doing every everywhere, man. You think you could just close the door? Going, hey, man, give me my privacy, man. I'm using the restroom. It's not, it don't work like that, man, because you'd be scheming and, sh and shit in there. You know, no pun, no pun intended, you know? See, but with Esau, that's why, you know, the scripture talk about how he tries to have those secret counsels. Woe to them that seek deep to hide their counsel in the dark, and they say, who seeth me? That's Esau. He thinks because he digs, you know, he goes down a, down a couple of flights of stairs under the ground. You know, he shuts the doors and no cameras and like that can like that can hide uh you know what he's doing he so actually believes it but it don't work like that but this whole mess that this man created uh is going to be taken is going to be taken away it's going to say man that the wicked they fly away as a shadow or they pass away as a shadow or as a dream it's one just really one big old bad dream and, it, and you can feel the pain you know that's why it sucks because you actually have to feel it and go through it but hey man let's get to say man he's going to be chased out of the earth once more because at this time it's going to be for good Nahum the, the first chapter says that uh, affliction shall not rise up a second time but this whole mess Know. The Lord is going to rectify him, man. He's going to make everything right. And it got me thinking because, of, you know, where I'm working, man, and you're going to have, you know, your marsh fields, you know, uh, irrigation systems and all that. But it's going to be clean. You know, we're going to be living off the land again. You know, I asked the Jake, I was like, why can't, I was like, how many black farmers do you see, man? Because he's a black, he's a, he's a, he's a Judite. And how many black farmers do you see? How many Indian farmers do you see? Or Mexican farmers do you see owning, you know, 48 acres of land? Where I'm working, I think there's like, uh, I think it's like 150 acres of land. And it's owned by a bunch of old fucking white guys, man. You know, so Esau has definitely taken, he definitely owns the world. And I'm not being simple and thinking that this, because there's one white group owns this land and that, that's why all I know, no man, come on. Who, who just bought, what, a couple years ago or a year ago, that, what, 95% of the farmland, Bill Gates. And then these white men are coming along through the government and paying off farmers to burn their crops. Come on, man. The 
wicked rule the earth and the violent take it by force. That's the so-called white man. Uh, you can't forget, you know, how the Lord made the good and the evil. And he created the waster to waste and to destroy. The smith that blow with the coals. You can't forget that every nation was designed to act and be a certain way. And pursuant to Esau, man, he was designed and programmed to be the wicked. All right, the scriptures refer to him as the border of wickedness pursuing the Malachi, the first chapter, and the fourth verse. He is the personification of all wickedness. So, but the whole point was just to show that, like, what we preach is an end to this rulership of society, man. We preach an end to uncleanness and dirty, dirty lifestyles, man. You know, Esau likes to live like a pig. That's why, like, I, you know, I, I, I use the example of the uh, the machinery he uses to harvest his his uh, his fruits and vegetables. Man, they'll wear those things out to the end, man, to, to the rim, to the last spark plug or, you know, circuit. And even if it does die, they'll buy new parts to put them in there and that thing will run for 50, you know, not even 50, you know, 10 years. But that shit will look ugly as hell, man. But like I said, I get it. Because a new tractor, man, costs $50,000, man, $100,000. But check this out. Uh, I'm responsible for you know creating, uh, dumping the hopper and filling up the crates with uh, cran cranberries. Um, one crate of cranberries, just say you sell it five dollars a, uh, a pound. Uh, that's six thousand dollars right there in that crate, and I gotta fill up a semi. That's thirty four crates. So six thousand times thirty four. That's like two hundred something thousand. Uh, a quarter of a mil dollars right there. Now, they probably selling them at like $10 a pound. So that's almost what? That's almost half a million dollars on just one truck. And I'll do, I'll do uh, two to three trucks a day right now because we're starting off slow. Shit, that's over a million dollar worth of product. You know, you can set aside some money to buy another tractor if, if your new one, if your old one breaks down. But it's about greed, it's about money. Shit, even I thought about it, man, what I could do with just one crate. <laughs> and uh, one crate, uh, I'll fill up to about 1,200 pounds. It's a lot of money, man, a lot of product. But you get the gist of what I'm, of what I'm aiming at. You know, in the kingdom, we're gonna have more than enough. You know, Solomon, I can't remember what book it was. I think it was first and second Kings when it spoke about uh, one day he was dining or he was eating. And it said that a fly landed on his plate of gold. And it said that he just threw the plate of gold away. <laughs> Man, Jake gonna be living, you know, sumptuously, fair and sumptuously. We ain't gonna be doing it wickedly. But you know what I'm saying? Again, you know what I'm saying? Man, it's gonna be beautiful in the kingdom, man. We're gonna be, we're gonna be living like kings, man, delicately. There was a uh, a short YouTube video clip of uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, the movie, the uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean, and there was a clip of Barbosa, man. And he, I guess, he went to the side of Esau, man, but he joined up, and he had the hat, the, the wig, and all that shit, and. Uh, he set his own little plate. He got a little dainty, his nice little cup, Tupperware and all that, whatever. And he's got some nice dishes of some meat and some vegetables. And he's got his, his bourbon or whatever, his rum, pours a glass and he, he goes, and he's just eating like that. And uh, one of the crew members comes up and then Captain Barbosa and he goes, I, and you know, he's just acting, you know, we gonna be eating delicately, man. We gonna be living lavish, all right, elegantly. And that's something that I know the elect are always thinking about, man. The way we're going to eat. You know, the, uh, the apostles always brought it out. Uh, back in the ancient world, man, the meat that you caught that day was what you ended up eating. You'd see a, 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 a fresh baby lamb or a lamb of a year old. And, that, and that, that lamb you ate that night was literally that same lamb you just looked at. 
fresh meat. You know, today you eat, you know, processed meat glued meat and, you know, uh, you know, just fecal matter and all your shit. Hey, man, ain't gonna be like that in the kingdom. And it's polluted, it has blemish in it. Man, I seen a clip of a fucking Edomite stomping out a cow. Man, you better, you don't think that's why the creation wants to come back at you, man? The creation mourns. All right, they, they make groanings as well. The creation, the earth makes groanings as well for e, about Esau and what he's doing. Like, I mean, I wish I could show you. I, but, yeah, Salaka, there you go. You know, these cows, man, you know, they ain't happy. They ain't living life the way that they should, you know? You know, the, like, the, 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 the creation mourns. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can understand what I'm saying, man. I'm not talking to, yeah, you, you slaughter these animals to, you know, to eat them. But the way that Esau goes about it, man, is even fucked up. You know, I, again, like I, you know, there's a certain way you got to kill what you're going to eat. Uh, you could just talk about it, like you can't kill it. You can't cause it pain. When, a, when an animal dies in pain, um, uh, it actually spoils the meat a little bit more. The meat's actually not fully clean, truly clean. You know, it's called a clean cut. Um, uh, you know, you kill it the wrong way, you spoil all the meat. That's real, man. And the way that Esau has set up all these uh, factories and shit, when they kill the animals, they those those animals die in pain. Um. I used to work at a slaughterhouse back in Texas, and uh, there was called the kill floor, where they would tase, they would uh, cattle prod the uh, the cat, the cow in its in its head to, until it died. Come on, man! <laughs> you know you didn't have a cattle prod back in the ancient world, man. You zap that motherfucker until he died. You know you got chicken, maybe chickens just being slaughtered by with blade chopping blades, and nah, man. The, the, the creation of the world more. That's why the Lord said, you know, to all the fowls and the and the, and the beasts of the, the planet, you know, come to this great sacrifice that I have for you to feast upon the flesh of kings. You know, the kings are the elites. You know, and uh, uh, the 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 the, uh, the ones that rule, the wicked Esau, and you got these other nations, man, too. But mainly Esau is the uh, is the uh, uh, the main course. Yeah, man. You know, there's a there's a uh, there's a great shifting and moving that's gonna cause this plant, this uh, this per this uh, rulership to be moved, and it's gonna be done by Yahweh Bashmiyashai's hand through his working. And um, you know, yeah, man. They're just. A little bit, a little bit longer is all we ever say. A little bit, just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit more, and the Lord, the Lord finally will work. So, you know, with that, just wanted to, you know, just talk, man. I'm, I got off early today, man. So I'm going home. I'm gonna take care of some business. You know, get some shit done. But hey, I got to get out. I got to get out early today. So, but anyways, man. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Low willing, this was edifying. You know, low willing can give you some encouragement, something to look forward to, man. Because we we already, we already know, man, we live in hell. You already know that the way that we that, that the whole earth lives in today, man, is just fucked up. And it's yeah, done. It's done. It's through. So you know, with that, low willing, you've been inspired. Has something to think about for the kingdom, man. You know, living delicately. But with that, I want to give all glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Kakudash. And hey, double honors to the apostles, to Elders, Great Millstone. Peace and much love, honors and blessings to the elect. All right, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakadam, Kwame Shalom, Shalom.